After one of the harshest droughts in California history, we experienced the terrifying collapse of the Orville Dam spillways. In a matter of hours, roughly 200,000 people from Orville and other towns downstream of the dam were told to evacuate, leaving their homes and family valuables behind. As part of my commitment to you and the state of California, I was involved in an assembly joint oversight hearing on the Orville Dam. There are still a lot of questions to be answered, but what we have learned in the aftermath so far is sobering. The Orville Dam spillways were poorly maintained and water agencies who benefit failed in their responsibility to ensure the integrity of the dam. It was projected that each spillway could handle at least 270,000 cubic feet of water per second. Yet the main spillway began collapsing at one third of its capacity and the emergency spillway at just 4%. As constructed, the concrete was too thin and was built on unstable rock without the proper reinforcements. There is a famous saying that the only certainties in life are death and taxes. Well, we can add a third. Concrete's gonna crack. I'm a general contractor by trade, so I know that when you lay concrete, over time, there will be stresses from seismic impact or temperature changes. A forensic team examining the Orville Dam spillway found corrosion, erosion, and cracks, as well as design and structural flaws. That's terrifying. At one point in the oversight hearing, Secretary of Natural Resources John Laird said that the water agencies that contract for water from Orville Dam need to step up and pay for this, and I absolutely fully agree. Water agencies, including the Metropolitan Water District, cannot pass the buck any longer on this or any future project. We need assurances on Orville Dam going forward. It was done wrong 50 years ago and now we're paying for it. We need peer review and better use of engineering to eliminate human error. We have to recognize people's lives are at stake. Let's do it right this time.